These are two presses that I use, and these are not designed to be presses. These are die-cut machines, often known as a craft press, but they work particularly well for the kind of work we're going to be doing. And I've been using them a lot to take out to workshops, to do outreach, um, to take on holiday, <laughs> all those kinds of things. I do have a big proper etching press, but these are fantastic, and for the price, they're really good entry level into the whole delights of Intaglio printmaking. So this is a Sizzix Big Shot. And before I go any further, I get no affiliation from either of these companies. Um, I'm just passionate about printmaking and trying to make it accessible to you guys. So this is the Sizzix Big Shot Plus. They do another one which is even bigger called a Big Shot Pro, but I've never used that one, so I can't uh, advise you on that one. And basically what it has uh, is a roller, it's a metal roller in here, okay, which is a fixed roller, uh, and it has a handle which turns that roller. It's as simple as that. What we need to do as printmakers, so you, uh, you take out the things it comes with and we put a longer bed in. And for this one, we have to raise the height of our bed and pack out under our printing plates in order to get, to get the correct pressure. Okay, so that's a Sizzix Big Shot. And you say they're about uh, eight or nine kilograms in terms of weight. And this one certainly is ready available worldwide. This one seems to be haphazardly available. This is the X Cut Express, uh, which if you have a choice of the two and you can get one of these, I recommend this one. You're going to get the same results. Just this one is much, much more compact okay it looks a little bit like a, a sandwich toaster they're about the same weight this one is much more compact and this one you can adjust the pressure okay so you have a bit more control of this one but they will both do exactly what we want them to do okay uh, so this one opens out in toaster fashion and it has uh, these plates here which you need to take out and then it has, if I can show you, it has a, a little thing here to stop these guys flapping around. It has a little thing here that you push to lock. Okay, uh, and I'll do that. It has one of those each side. You then need to put these guys back in, although sometimes I forget. It really doesn't matter. But it's, ha it's handy to keep them in place. They go this way, by the way with this little knobble bit towards the roller. If you go that way, they'll still fit in, but you'll, roll, you'll, you'll be a bit wonky. So make sure you get them in around the right way. And they click quite happily into a runner each side. This also has a handle. This also has rollers. But the difference being, and I'll do it onto my hands, but I don't recommend you do this. The distance being, can you see this roller here? is going down. I'll go up again to show you and it goes down and that's really useful because it means we can adjust the pressure. Uh, I tend to have it down as far as I can go to get maximum pressure but what you don't want to do is have it so far down that you can hardly turn your handle because as I said before these guys are not designed for what we're using them for. And if anything is going to go wrong, it's going to be here. You're going to snap the bearing with too much pressure in the handle. Okay. okay. Uh, the handle isn't on when you get it and you attach it with a little tiny Allen key. Hang on to that because this becomes loose. Uh, I was printing once at a workshop and I simply couldn't work out why nothing was happening. It's because this had become loose. So you need to make sure you hang on to your little tiny Allen key. I keep my, mine on a key ring. Uh, and then you've always got that for when you need it. Okay, and the handle turns the roller. Okay, so there are two presses. What else do we need? Well, you need some kind of a bed. Okay, this is half. And I very badly cut it on a jigsaw. Doesn't really matter. It's half of a large catering cutting board okay uh 60 by 40 something it was 42 i think uh, and i've cut it in half 
uh, and it's a I can't remember the thickness, but I'll put the link on with this. The length doesn't really matter, okay? Uh, I do very long prints. This print, which is 75 centimetres, has been done on my X cut. I have a very long bed that's going to hold that plate. But 60 centimetres is quite a nice length for what we're doing. It, the only restriction you have is your width. Okay, it needs, this needs to fit here. I'm just going to put that back up again so you can see. So it's going to slide in there. Okay, it doesn't matter, there's a bit of play on it. Once your pressure's on, there'll be no play whatsoever. That's going to slide in there. The other thing you're going to need is a blanket. So I get mine from, this is a particularly for etching presses, I get it from Lawrence's in London, but it's fairly universal, but you can just use any thick felt, and you can use things like a smooth yoga mat, okay, so have a look around, see what you've got, but actually I buy this by the inch, uh, and it works out to be about £10, and they're fine, yes it's mucky, it is washable, don't worry about it, you only need one, on a large etching press, you need more than one blanket, uh, mainly for, for all sorts of reasons to do the pressure and catching the size from the damp paper and all those things. Uh, but for this size, we really only need the one blanket. You'll also need to protect your blanket, stop it getting as mucky as mine do, uh, some newsprint, okay, which I've cut to size. That's all I need for the X cut. And I'll adjust the pressure and show you how it rolls through. Let's put the roller right down. I'm on the wrong side. It rolls through and back. Uh, when I'm printing, I will have the camera face downwards. So you can really see what happens with the plate uh, and, the, and the print that comes out of it. But that's how it works, okay? So this is just got... Now, if you're in the UK, there's a company called handprinted.co.uk. Uh, again, I have no affiliation, but they're a really fantastic company. Uh, they have been making, sometimes out of stock, they have been making a pack for a bed and a blanket so that your X cut is good to go. Okay, it will also fit the Sizzix, but you just need to be have one extra thing. Okay, so if you've got a Sizzix, the kit from handprinted.co.uk to make this into an etching press is it will, will fit your Sizzix. It's about twenty-five pounds, which is fine because I say this this cost me about ten, uh, and one of these chopping boards is about fifteen pounds, uh, and you have to chop it in half. Okay, so if you want to get good to go then that's that. They're often out of stock. is becoming extremely popular. So with the Sizzix, we want exactly the same. And again, it's the same size bed. It fits in quite nicely. Uh, it can, this one's slightly wider. So it probably could, but only by about two or three millimetres. Really not hugely wider. But that's fine. It doesn't matter that there's gaps either side. What would matter is if it didn't go through. Okay. Uh, but on top of that... What you're going to need is a piece of, this is hardboard. Uh, and that's just going to give me that extra bit of height. And again, the blanket and your paper as well. And feed through and again I don't have enough pressure on here it's not going uh, nearly it's trying to what I then to tend to use is long sheets of okay a mount board so the kind of mount board that we're going to be using for cutting out to make our plates so a piece of mount board or mat card to fit there plus your piece of hardboard 
plus your cutting mat is about right, okay? You will still need to adjust the pressure, but I tend to do that with just these sheets of paper underneath the plate. Once you've got your pressure right, then you're good to go, okay? The only difference it's going to mean is if your plate varies in thickness. But that's pretty much it, okay? It just needs a bit of help, and we have to pack this up to the roller, whereas the X-cut, the roller can go down.